Yep. Okay. Ready? Okay. Um, uh, well, hi everybody. This is Jungle Mike 100 here uh, in the jungle as usual. And uh, once again, we're working with bees. Today we're working with uh, Mariola bees. We have uh, 14 colonies of Mariolas here side by side. These are uh, one of about a dozen different species of stingless bees here in Costa Rica that make honey. Uh, these girls have been really working hard to the extent that uh, they can't even fit inside uh, the, the box anymore, the colony. So I'm going to open them up right now and we're going to see if we uh, can't uh, uh, extract some honey. I'm going to start by uh, just checking my smoker and uh, I'm going to give them a little puff so that they know that we're here. That little bit of smoke traditionally runs them back into the colony and gets them thinking about other things instead of me. Uh, and uh, they'll be gorging themselves on honey, and uh, which makes them a bit lethargic, easy to work on. And again, uh, they're not thinking about me so much. So let me get this down. This colony is about, a little bit, as you can see, a little bit bigger than the size of a shoebox, a, a child's shoebox. And uh, we'll uh, see, which is plenty of space for them. We're going to see what they've been doing lately. Uh, it's looking so-so. Um, there's some honey in there. I don't know that I want to steal any of this honey right now because uh, we are going into the rainy season. It's starting uh, any moment now, practically. What you're looking, here, looking at here on top is the brood chamber uh, and this very thin sheets of wax throughout that uh, is the connective tissue sustaining everything. These are uh, pots of honey that the bees have made and are ready to seal off. Some of them are not quite sealed, others are. Uh, and the brood chamber is surrounded by not only this honey and suspension there in that network, uh, but also uh, jugs of pollen. And again, these are Mariolas, uh, one of uh, Costa Rica's stingless bees. This one in particular is known uh, for the use of the honey in eyes as an eye drop uh, for eye maladies, conjunctivitis, and apparently also used for, uh, to can help relieve inflammation of the prostate. Uh, it's a very, very particular honey. A colony like this might produce uh, three, four, five ounces of excess honey, if you will, something you might be able to rob in a, in a year's time. Um, that would be, I guess, about an average, four ounces or so in a year. Uh, we do have this from time to time. Uh, we have a little bit right now that we're filtering uh, for use as an eye drop. Anyway, uh, nothing to steal, but uh, always good to check out what's going on with the bees. And uh, we're going to put them back next to their other sisters. A lot of bees out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go right in ahead this way. And uh, put that back over that screw that anchors it in place. I'll probably switch that screw out. I'd like a different one a little bit longer to penetrate deeper into the box. But anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you. Okay, well, uh, thanks for being with us.